So one of the most common questions I get is where can I use my sugar? And the short answer is everywhere. But today I'm gonna show you guys how I sugar my armpits and go from this to this. So first and foremost, you do wanna make sure that your skin is clean. And then you want to powder the skin. This is going to absorb any moisture that is left after cleansing it and absorb any sweat because you're probably nervous at this point because you're about to rip your hair out. So baby powder, cornstarch, arrowroot powder, rice flour, and as a matter of fact, you can even use the powder that you use to set your makeup. If you guys have seen any of the videos on how I make my sugar paste, then I'm using the soft formula. But before you apply it to the skin, you want to get in front of a mirror and see which direction the hair is growing as you can see the lower part of my armpit the hair grows down and on the upper part it grows up and I have to say that this is pretty common and if you can't really tell which direction that your hair is growing in maybe your hair is curlier than mine then what you want to do is lightly run your finger against the hair and the direction that you feel the most resistance that's the direction you're going to apply your sugar. So now we're gonna approach this in sections. This section is growing down. So that means I'm gonna apply my sugar going up. You mold the sugar into the hair two to three times. Since I feel like I have a good grip, I pull. So as you can see, the section that I just did is completely clean. This is how you wanna hold your arm when you're doing your underarms. You wanna raise your hand like you're in class and you need to ask the teacher a question. And then you actually wanna bend your arm at the elbow and then grip the upper shoulder of your arm. And what this is gonna do is it's going to pull the skin on the inside of your armpit very tight. And this is super important. If you do not hold your skin tight before you pull that sugar, you're going to bruise yourself and it's gonna hurt. When we rip, we pull the hair out in the natural direction that it grows. So it's more likely to come out very easily. And this is one of the benefits to sugaring rather than waxing. So this side is done. So all I have to do is a damp washcloth and let it break down any residual sugar that might be on my skin. I love to use fresh aloe, but when I do my armpits, I actually prefer to use witch hazel. And the reason why is because it is an astringent. So it's actually going to kind of constrict your pores and tell them to close up. And so after your toner, Put on a little bit of baby powder because at this point you actually don't want to put on deodorant so that powder is going to help absorb any sweat that you might have throughout the remainder of the day but not irritate your skin that is my sugaring process this is one of the ways that i keep my skin tone even especially because at one point i had had a really bad reaction to a deodorant literally made my skin like five or six shades darker which was not cute so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did as usual please give it a thumbs up because it really lets me know what you want to see and um, let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see whether they be sugar or non-sugar related if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below and i'll see you next week